Uh, hi, my name is Jacqueline. I'm a bio major in USD. Um, I've been a volunteer um, since I was in high school, and the more I do it, it becomes a passion. And I think I will keep doing that for the for the rest of my life. Um, doing service service learning is like a thing that you can't only learn in school, but you know, that's a thing that that you learn from other people too. So it's it just feeling great doing service learning. Well, um, I love people, so. Um, being able to work with people is all about passion and I think when you actually step outside of your box about me, 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 you get a chance to realize that life isn't about yourself. It's about a bigger picture and it's about community and um, unity and when you're out serving people, um, it humbles you and it makes you realize um, true meaning and value in life. I would say service is really important to have your personal growth and development and this is the first time that I did the service but I learned so many things from doing at the first time. I mean um, it's like giving back to the community and you get something in back not just uh, during our CSP course that is the college success program. Mm -hmm. um, from the Scholars Academy, it's the one credit hour that we have to take all this um, new scholars, uh, new people who got the scholarship, they get a chance to um, take the CSP course and they get a chance to volunteer and do this community service. And we went to this middle school where we were to do, uh, encourage uh, middle school students to take part in the STEM or... Oh, uh, it was... Whenever, like we did the science experiments, and we, my part was to show the layers of the earth by using the play-doh, and kids were really excited because they get to play with the play-doh, and they're all doing their own stuff, and they were really excited. And when I asked them, they were able to tell me that these were the layers, and that really made me happy because they learned something, and they were like. Oh, science is really cool, and we will. And my ambition is to be like a doctor, or a scientist, or something, and that really made me feel mm -hmm. like proud. Okay, I just contributed a little bit to like think that science could be or STEM could be their major in the future, and that would help them. Um, I feel like the most important thing for students to learn. Um, and being successful is to have tenacity. No matter what you do, the difference between you being successful and someone else who has the same maybe talent and skill as you not being successful is that they didn't sh they didn't finish what they started. And I feel like that's all about um, what uh, coming to college is all about is being able to not only get to get the degree but also that you're able to complete something that you started because you were very tenacious and you were bold enough to say, I'm not going to give up, I'm not going to quit. And life is always going to throw things at you. And most times those things are going to be very unfair and they're going to be very challenging and they're going to prompt you to want to quit. But if you just say no, no matter what, and you stick with it, you can do anything. And I know it sounds cliche, but I promise from my own experience that if you just stick with whatever it is that you put your mind to, you're going to be successful beyond measure so just remember that when we just came here and I was I guess it was in 2010 in the beginning of 2010 and uh, at first I was with my parents I was not in the school but then one of my relative they they insisted me to continue my studies and so I'm thankful to her and even I wanted I was missing my studies too because I'm kind of a more studious person. <laughs> That's why um, I was thankful to that my my dad relative. But uh, then when I joined the school, it was like totally different environment for me because uh, the schools that I had uh, studied in, they were like really small compared to the schools that are over here, and uh, even the culture of the school was totally different. We never had to like change our classes according to our schedule. All our 
all our classmates they were with you in all the classes that you take for that year it's just it's the teachers who used to change classes according to their schedule so everything was new when uh, also I um, the another hurdle that I had was try to understand what people are talking to me like what they're trying to talk to me because even though I had uh, learned English it was uh, we had never used English in day-to-day -day conversation so it was uh, kind of hard for me to grab in the beginning like what are they trying to say me even though I, I was familiar with the English language though but then I just tried it, I practiced it uh, when the teacher used to teach us in the class. Obviously they are going to speak in English as it's an um, it's a American language we can say. So I, avoiding all the noise and everything else, I tried to listen to the teachers like attentively. Like I tried to avoid anything that I can hear and just listen to the teacher what they are trying to say and uh, that did really help me i tried to speak with them uh, and i'm at first i was scared that uh, what if uh, i was not being able to talk with anyone but i'm glad that people over here they're they're ready to help you like uh, even though i was uh, facing uh, i was facing some troubles in uh, conveying what i want to say them but when I say a little bit, they used to understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm really thankful to all the people in America about that. And uh, even uh, also, I missed one of my semester because by now I should have my bachelor's and I, I will, might be able to get done with a master's. But it's all because of the um, different countries and the standard of education. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why I'm still working on my bachelor's, but I'll get it.